is cut. When light is withdrawn from the sky, it is shot within the cat's eyes. His black fur shapes the air. His pupils grow into round lamps. The cat hears. A rustle of faded silk, a body 10,000 miles away, across the ocean and beneath mountains in a shroud woven of gold medallions. In the cradle, the baby sleeps, her breath a fresh sweetness. The cat ponders in the bark. It has licked the baby's head all over, brushed the hair on her forehead into seven black columns. To the sky, let us build temples that shall stand till the last day of the last one of us. Let us have temples that house what gods there may be. Temples are built also to be ruined, so that in times to come, the fixed stars shall locate the ruins. Greater temples may be imagined. Let men carve giant stones of mountains near the sky's edge. Let them set the stones on ships, cross hundreds of rivers, and bring them into the desert. An identical monument shall be erected every 100 years. Let strong arms be spent in labor. Let dark minds be drowned by the pure white glaze of these celestial mirrors. The full moon. In a wire cage, she dances several definitions of dance. She has very little on either her body or her mind. There are beholders whose eyes are full, their hands reach into their pockets. From the singing, speakers blast, rhythm boats upon a smoky crowd. Outside, there is silence. Beyond the silence, there are wolves who gaze crazily into the moon. She has a daughter named Sigrid. To have this baby, she gave up smoking. The bartender has scars on his face. In the audience, a physics professor writes up his lecture notes. There are hands large and hairy. They run to her like hounds. The parable of love. A man traps a bird. He complains of her sad, listless notes. She wraps herself in her blue wings. She appears dead. He buries her in a glossy white box. He drives a car at night with the lights off. He climbs into the white box to ask her one more question. <laughs>